Hi, my name is Adam Bayless. I am with Van Meter. Uh, today we're going to be retying a new eye in a 916 pulling rope. The portion of a pulling rope that sees the most amount of wear is the eye itself. So over time, those eyes wear out and will have to be redone and or they get cut in the field and need to be re replaced. Uh, one of the benefits of using a single braided 916 pulling rope from Southwire is that you can re-eye these in the field. So we're gonna start off by re-tying our, or re-eyeing our rope by cutting off any damaged ends. So you'll take your tape and you're gonna put tape tightly around the edge of the rope just before the, the damage. And you're going to physically cut it off so that you have a clean edge to start with. Then you will move in leaving room for the eye itself, the size of the eye that you would like to make, and about 15 to 18 inches of tail on the rope itself. Once you've made your, your loop or decided how, how large you'd like your loop to be, you're gonna come back and you're gonna make two marks across the rope itself. Just pretend. Once you've made your marks, you're gonna come to your mark you're gonna separate your strands into half. After doing that, you'll take the end of your rope and pass it through the center and pull it out. And this is gonna create one loop. And you're gonna go back to your other mark, separate your strands, take your, the end of your rope, and pass it through. Make sure you work the rope so that it stays as flat as you can. These two loops will be the start of your new eye and the start of your new knot. Once you're ready, you will then take the end of your rope and pass it through your lower loop just until your second loop comes all the way through. This part will be your new pulling eye and you're gonna take it and feed it through the upper loop. And you're gonna roll it and work it until the new knot is flat. You now have your new eye in place. But before we're ready to pull, we need to secure the, the rest of the tail. And by doing that, we're physically going to back feed through the rope to the end. And today I'm using just a piece of scrap wire. We're gonna back feed up here and separate the strands. I'm going to slowly start to feed my wire up into my pulling rope until I get back up to top of my eye and I'll see I'll pull it all the way out okay you'll notice as I push the rope together it really starts to open up okay this is gonna become very important as you're trying to feed this back in now that we have our wire fed all the way up in we're gonna take the end of our rope and we're just gonna tape it on the end of this wire You want to make sure you go over it a few times just to make sure it's not going to slip off of there. And you don't really want to create an, a hook because it needs to be able to slide easily back through the, the rope itself. So now you're physically going to push the rope back in, trying to keep it bunched up, pulling or the, the excess rope back in. and work it and pull. So now that we have this back fed in, you wanna come back with your scissors and this is where you're gonna stagger cut some of your lengths. The reason you're staggering some of these and cutting them is so that it'll lay flatter when it's inside the rope. This 
see the end is now slightly tapered. You'll then grab it by the, the eye and the remainder of your pulling rope and pull it tight. The rest of your rope, the rest of that tail will now disappear into the rope. You now have a new factory pulling eye on your 916th pulling rope. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to re-eye your rope. For any more of your Southwire tool and solution needs, please reach out to any of us at Van Meter Inc.